This is the story of Scrap and Style TV. When I was a little girl, I used to love to play with scissors and paper and paste. Okay, yeah, I used to eat the paste, but most of the time it made its way onto the paper. When I grew older, and I said older, not bigger. So when I got older, I learned about scrapbooking or life art or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it totally changed my life and my background, apparently. Oh, look how cute my shells look. They're so lifelike. I'm sorry. So anyway, to make a long story short, I decided to create a TV show about it. And here we are. Okay, that was cool. This episode is sponsored by Sis TV Boutique. Today you're going to learn about a great design principle that will help a lot with your layouts. Now, I just want to warn you, I may have had to use my professor voice in the lesson. I'm going to teach you about the golden ratio. Now, it's all very mathematical and confusing if you really get into it but I'm going to try to simplify it for you. The golden ratio is a ratio that has been used for hundreds of years in art and mathematics. If you use this ratio in your creations, the idea is that they are more aesthetically pleasing and since it's mathematical and ancient and all, I figured it must be true. The golden ratio in layman's terms is five to three or three to five. So basically you wanna create a space with two sections where the smaller sections width to the larger sections width is the same as the larger sections width to the two sections combined. Got that? And to think we all used to say we were never going to use algebra. Here's an oversimplified yet practical application for you to use in your scrapbooking. If you're creating a 12 by 12 layout, you will want to create one visual section that is between 6.9 inches and 8.0 inches in order for it to be considered a safe design element. For eight and a half by 11, stay between 4.9 and 5.5 inches. Let me show you some examples. If you're finding this concept hard to grasp, just Google it because while I do have six bachelor and two master of scrapbooking arts degrees from creating Keepsakes University, technically I do not have the credentials to teach mathematics or really old formulas, so you're on your own. Besides, I'm going on sabbatical to write a book. fun with your photos and don't want to invest in a photo editing program, you can download Picnic. And you can find that at picnic.com. It's P-I-C-N-I-K.com. And this program is like my new addiction, I can tell you right now. It's very easy to upload photos. And hey, if you look down there and you look at the little icons, you can see that you can upload photos directly from Picasa. So you can import photos from any of the popular image or photo storage websites, as well as your own computer, right into Picnic. Here's a photo that I uploaded into Picnic and just played around with a little bit. It took me about 10 seconds. I put a couple of little effects on it and then put some text on it. And I was really happy with the way that it turned out. It even rounded the corners and everything, which I thought was really cute. So I took the photo from this top image, this is how it came directly out of my camera, and turn it into this. How cool is this? Hey, that's what my photo says. So that's Picnic. This week's Simplify 101 organization tip is all about unconventional storage. A lot of people like their storage containers to be all the same and perfectly in a row. My preference is to use containers that I've found here and there at flea markets or thrift stores or even antique stores. My favorite thing that I have is this vintage ice chest bought from a local antique store. Just so happened to be just the right width that I could fit my hanging folders and my pattern paper in. Remember, you don't have to limit yourself to containers that are specifically marketed for storage. Be creative. Think outside of the Sterilite box. It's Hot Shots time again. First up, we have my collection pick of the week by Creative Exile. Now, some people might say this is a little self-serving, but I think this is a beautiful, beautiful card done by Stacy Fike, and it's my fashionista pick for this week. Next is you, the sisters, your pick. It's this cool plaque by Hot Mama. 
And my overall pick of the week is actually a digital layout, which is gorgeous, and it was created by Georgia. Congratulations to all of our winners. They'll all be receiving a $20 gift certificate to the SysTV Boutique.